Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. So with devices like the AYN Odin 2 and other new Android handhelds that have the power of the sun in your hand, we can now do some pretty cool things with PlayStation 2 emulation. And with Aether SX2 or Nether SX2 or whatever you're using. In this guide, I'm going to go over how you can enable 60 FPS patches for some supported PS2 games, upgrade some games with HD texture packs, enable widescreen patches, enable ultra-wide patches for some other games, and also use cheats. I wouldn't call this a beginner's tutorial by any stretch of the imagination, and you'll need to have some familiarity with Android, Aether SX2, and computers, but I'll do my best to make this easy for anybody. Keep in mind as well that any of these additions could break your game and your save. I take no responsibility for your game or your saves breaking, you've been warned. First up is 60 FPS patches. There's an awesome posting on the PCSX2 forums with a bunch of 60 FPS codes that we're going to use. You're also going to need a PC for this, as we do need a program to convert those codes. I'll be using a Windows 11 PC here. I don't have any idea if it works on other operating systems, I'm just not sure. Find the game that you want to apply a 60 FPS code to in the list, and you want to match the serial code of the game you have to the game in the list. If you open Aether SX2 and then open the game, then open the Aether SX2 menu by hitting the back button on your device or with the navigation bar, you can click the I button top right, and in the summary tab, you'll see the serial and CRC there. As long as that serial matches the games on your list of codes, you're set. Next up, you want to install PCSX2CE on your PC. It's just right down there at the bottom as a zip file. Unzip it, and then open the .jar file inside. Now, clicking the link of the game that you want to add the code for in the 60fps post, it should take you to a post with some codes in it. You want to copy all of those, and then paste it into the left side of the PCSX2CE program. Then just click Convert at the bottom. You should now see a new code on the right, and that's our dot .panache code. I think that's how you say it, but it's P-N-A-C-H. And we'll be using that in Aether SX2. Start the game in Aether SX2 and enter the Aether SX2 menu again. Scroll down to patch codes and then add patch. You can name it anything you want, I'm just going to go with 60 FPS. Then in the code body, just write out the code from the PCSX2CE program. Exit and restart the game. Head back to the patch codes menu and select enable patches. And you can confirm that the patch is applied by checking the frame rate in the top right. To show the frame rate, it's in app settings, general tab, scroll to show FPS. Next up is HD texture packs. Once again, we're going to be using an awesome website for this on a Google Sites page. Find the game that you want using the navigation menu and then you want to click the link that's in the thread column for the game that you want. Once again, you want to confirm the serial number matches, same way we did for the 60 FPS patch section. Each game is different. Some will have a download link right there in the first post, and all you have to do is download that 7-zip file, but some will have it in a YouTube video. And in that case, you just have to go to the video and then check the description or the comments for the link. But in all of the cases, you should find a download link somewhere. 
It's like Where's Waldo for download links. Most of the time they'll be in a .7z file format, which means that you do need 7-zip from 7-zip.org to extract them. Once you do, inside you should see a folder with a serial number label and inside of that, a folder that says replacements and maybe there's another folder. You want to copy the serial numbered folder over to your device somehow. There's a few ways you can do this. The easiest and obvious way is just connect your device via USB cable to your PC and make sure that your device's screen stays on during the transfer or it's going to cut out. Then just transfer the folder over to the internal storage downloads folder. Just makes it easy. Keep in mind that this transfer could take a long while. It actually took me 30 minutes for the one that you're seeing in this video. If you don't have your screen timeout set to 30 minutes before starting on your device, you'll want to do so. Or you could just sit there tapping the screen every few minutes to avoid it turning off. Then on your device, we're going to copy and paste that folder or move that folder, whatever you prefer, to the internal storage, Android, data, xyz.aethersx2.android, files, textures folder. I recommend using the app Solid Explorer File Manager from the Google Play Store for this, as you might have permission issues for other apps. Plus, it helps with a dual screen layout to just transfer files easily. Once you've moved the folder over, open AetherSX2, head to Settings, Graphics, and turn on Load Texture Replacements and Asynchronous Texture Replacement Loading. That's it, you're done. Then we have widescreen patches. And so we're going to go into AetherSX2 settings, graphics, and change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Then in the same area, you can enable widescreen patches. If there's a community patch for widescreen, it'll work, but not for every game. Also, if you do it this way, it'll apply to every single game, and so it's not what we want. You can test this out though. If you open a game and then click the I in the top right, which means per game settings, and then for that specific game, make those two setting changes that I talked about and see if it says that a community widescreen patch was applied. It'll tell you in the top left, and if you're happy with that, you're basically done. But for those with phones, and so ultra-wide aspect ratios like 20 by 9, 21 by 9, there's another way. Head to the link in the description for a Google Drive download, and there's a repository of ultra-wide screen patches here. Head to the region that your games are in, so likely NTSC U, and then find the game folder for the game that you want. Inside of it, you'll see a .panache file again. That number that you see there is the CRC number of your game. So remember how we checked the serial number earlier? Right below that is the CRC number. So match that to the game and the file that you have here. Download that panache file to your device and then open the game in AetherSX2. Click the eye icon top right for per game settings head to graphics, and then set your aspect ratio to stretch. And then you want to disable widescreen patches as well. Head back to the in-game menu and scroll down to patch codes. Then add patch and import the file you downloaded. Then head back into the menu and enable patches and you should be set. Last item on our fantastic Make PS2 Awesome menu is Cheats, the easiest of all of these to implement. We're going to be using the awesome website of gamehacking.org, and you're going to search for the game that you want Cheats for. 
Of course, make sure the region of the game matches what you have, and you can double check the serial once again if you like. In the download section, change format to pcsx2.panache, and then click download. You're going to get a panache file, now open the game that you want to use cheats in in AetherSX2, then open the in-game menu, and head to patch codes. Then add patch, and import that panache file. Head back in and enable patches. You used to be able to just click a checkbox next to the patch codes that you wanted enabled, but that seems to be gone. An alternative way to disable any cheats that you don't want, since enabling patches enables everything, is to add two forward slashes in front of any codes you don't want. You can do this by the Edit Patches menu in AetherSX2, and then just add two forward slashes for any codes you don't want, and it's easy to tell what the codes do because you can see the comment right above. That's going to be it for this, the ultimate best most fantastic guide to making PS2 awesome on your Android device. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one.